Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick bit of news about this new flight controller that has just been released from Beta FPV. Now Beta FPV have some really good stuff for Whoops in particular and this is one of their new 5-in-1 boards. I think there's a 3-in-1 version of this coming as well. But this little thing that only has a flight controller, video transmitter with on-screen display capability, the ESCs and also an Express LRS receiver connected serially, not via SPI, which makes me very happy. The processor on here is a G473 rather than something like an F411, which is great. That gives it about 50 odd percent more performance in terms of horsepower. That should mean it can continue to be supported by Beta Flight going forward. On here, as you can see, there are motor connectors. The power connector is a BT 2.0, which is what most modern stuff is running on now. And it also has that VTX, which is actually capable of up to 400 milliwatts. That's what it's claimed. Camera port on here too, so that you can plug it in. And the VTX antenna is just connected via a little UFL connector here. So that's perfect if you already have a whoop or something that you want to put this into. Maybe do it as a bit of an upgrade. Maybe the board's gone pop. This could be a great option to drop in. So while I unbox it, let's go through the specifications of the individual pieces, because there's an awful lot of technology plumbed into this little one millimeter thick board. So let's first of all start with the flight controller. Again, this is an SM32G473. So this is one of the newer processors that we're starting to see now with some of the older stuff is kind of getting retired. Gyro is an ICM 42688P, 16 meg of black box memory, uh, voltage and current sensing. So we'll plug it into Beta Flight in a moment. We'll have a look at what all that looks like. BEC is five volt, maximum three amps, and there is for UART, UART 1 is kind of free, UART 2 is used for the VTX as we'll see in a moment, UART 3 is for the receiver and UART 4 is kind of free too. 87456E for the Betaflight on screen display, 5 amp continuous ratings for the speed controllers. The receiver again is a serially connected Express LRS 2.4 gig, uh, it says it's running 3.4.3, I'll show you what it's actually come with in a moment. VTX, as I said, is quite a beefy little thing, which means it's going to be handy not just for flying around the house, but reasonably large areas too. Goes up to a 400 milliwatt setting. Flight controller firmware, Betaflight underscore 4.5.0 underscore BetaFPV G473. But again, we'll have a look at that in a sec. USB port is actually via this external little board. So it hasn't got a USB port on it directly. Make sure you don't use that little board if you ever want to plug it in and change any of the settings. I do like the way they've specified what all the connectors are on this. So the motor connectors are JST 1.25s. Battery connector again is a BT 2.0. Mounting hole size is 26 by 26 millimeters. And the weight is only about 3.92 grams. Speed controllers on here are 1S only, uh, 5 amps continuous, 8 amps peak. It is running Blue J firmware and it will sh support DeepShot 300 and DeepShot 600. Output power for the VTX is 2500, 200, and 400 and pit mode. Frequency is 5.8 gig, of course, filled 48 channels with race band. Smart Audio 2 connected and configured. And with all those pieces on here, this is a cracking little 1S board. So let's plug it into the computer and see what it looks like in beta flight, see what the default settings are. Uh, what I'll do is I'll also save the default configuration file into a dump file. Uh, warning, the accelerometer is enabled but not calibrated. So that's something that we definitely have to do, but we'll just close that out. Let's go through this very quickly. Ports, we have four UARTs, one of which is dedicated, looks like, for serial receiver, but we have room for others. Uh, Smart Audio is set for UART 2. Configuration, by default, is set for 8K gyro, 4K pit loop frequency. Running Beta Flight 4.5, so reasonably current. Nothing particular exciting in there. Power and battery setups are this. Uh, again, I'll put a dump down below if you want to go and have a look at it. Receiver should be set for CRSF, which it is. Uh, nice to see it on a serial UART rather than I squared C stuff. Just those SPI connected ones, I'm not a big fan of. Mode is probably going to be blank, which it is. 
and nothing really too exciting it all looks good so what i'll do is i'll just dump this out i'll put a link in the description so you can have a look how it comes by default but i do like the fact that this actually has uh, all of the pieces that we need and i've just noticed we've been playing for long enough that the express lrs stuff has actually just jumped into wi-fi mode so why don't we just let's save this dump to a file so it's come with Beta FPV 2.4 gig on a one receiver firmware. Firmware revision is 3.4.3. So again, reasonably uh, up to date as well. So that's kind of good to know. It means that everything on here is pretty much ready to rock and roll. You just have to kind of plug your motors in, plug your camera in, and you're probably going to be all tickety boot too. So if you have a Whoop or you're building one or you've got a Whoop chassis and some motors and maybe a spare camera kicking around and you want to build a Whoop over these dark winter nights here in the Northern Hemisphere, then this is actually a great option. I am not going to use this one, however. So for those of you that stick around to the end of my videos, let's do a giveaway. So if you are interested in being in the draw for this, then standard stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Also include the secret passphrase, Beta FPV Matrix Flight Controller, and then I will use that to find all of you that actually watched right to the very end. Good luck to everybody. I'll just give it a couple of days and we'll do the draw as a bit of a fun thing. But again, if you're interested in Whoop building and you're looking for a modern PCB that has everything on it that you're going to need, including Express LRS, decent sized VTX, and all the stuff you need for analog FPV, then this one is worth a look and looks like they're going to be producing a three in one inversion soon. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.